Okay, what's up everybody? Um, today I'm going to show y'all how I make my dreadlock spray. Um, and I'll go over, you know, exactly, you know, what all this is in a few seconds, but let's give y'all the use what you, you know, can or what I use this for. Um, what you would use this for, pretty much I use this, um, daily, either daily or every other day, but pretty much I always use it daily, part of my morning routine. And I'll have to, uh, make a video on that, you know, what my morning routine is for my dreadlocks. But, um, pretty much this spray, it will help with itching, dry scalp. Um, I said the, some of these, these are essential oils right here. Um, a lot of this stuff, it, you know, it really helps with itching. It helps, um, so your hair smells good. So, it, you know, keep bad odors out of your head. Um. I said again to moisturize your hair so your hair you not walk around with a super dry dreadlocks because that you know that really isn't all that good all the time um i already said odor um and as well you know some of these essential oils are just good for your hair growth in general for your hair growth and health so um let's get into this the ones i use and i'll you know kind of tell you why each one of these as I go down the line I'm gonna start right here um tea tree tea tree essential oils this is a good one that um helps with itching of your head this like I said like I said it's cleansing it you know cleanses your head your scalp your hair scalp and head um so it'll prevent itching and it'll get rid of a lot of um you know if you had bad odors anything like that if you go to the gym a lot and you got you know dreadlocks or a lot of hair this is good stuff right here lavender oil um now oh and tea tree is very good for your hair's health as well i forgot to say that um for the health of your hair then it'll help your hair grow as well lavender um i like the smell of lavender but besides just the smell and I, I don't use a whole whole lot of lavender when i make this you know just a few drops but lavender is um you know one of those essential oils that like it says on here has a uh it's associated with having a calming effect and you know i put a few drops in there for the you know spread this smell in there but also um you know it get, gives you a um i don't know just say just a calming um when i put this on my you know in my spray on my head it, it has a way of evening you out just giving you a just an overall calm attitude so i like throwing it in there lime um also good for your hair but i also like using this to create the smell that i want to end up having so lime lemon it's the same as lime it's good for your hair but it also is um a part of the end smell that i want to achieve I'm gonna skip that one for a second. Peppermint, because these this goes with these two. This is pretty much the base of my um of my hairspray. This is what I use the you know the most to get the scent that I want. So the combination of these three right here. Peppermint, lemon, and lime is you know peppermint especially is the basis of what I'm wanting my spray to smell like and I you know I've came up with the combination that I just love the smell of it it ends up having my hair smell like a lemon lime a minty fresh lemon lime and um, it smells really really good so these three are for the smell 
that you know the end smell that I want to achieve for the spray eucalyptus oil now eucalyptus oil is um it's similar to tea tree oil but it's not the same it's very good for your hair stimulates growth um good for the health of your hair it also clean it like i said like uh tea tree oil you can help clean out some of those bad odors you may get in your head but this the same as tea tree doesn't have a really um i'm not gonna say it smells unpleasant but i don't think you want to walk around with your head smelling like eucalyptus um but it does have a hint of kind of a uh kind of a minty smell in it but hold on let's open this right quick so yeah it does uh have a minty essence in eucalyptus oil but so it pairs well with the peppermint but also has a lot of the same um benefits that tea tree has so i put that in there um and i usually use, just use spring water um you can you know any type of spring water you got i would not recommend using tap water i would stay away from using that for them from for this spray i would recommend using either spring water or distilled water and distilled water you can pick up from walmart those big jugs the ones with the purple cap on it <clears throat> and my spray bottle that i use is a i don't know how big this is two fluid ounces um the tinted glass try to find this one with the tinted glass for for this since you since you are using essential oils you can see for the tint for the essential oils this also has the uh the dark tinted glass and that's so if you get any sunlight on this it doesn't break down these oils so you especially want to use this glass tint this tinted glass bottles when you're making this you don't want to use you know clear plastic you really don't even want to use any colored or dark plastic either because essential oils um you know in plastic you don't want that stuff you know kind of I, I don't know eating up the plastic not, not really eating up the plastic but um just if you can i would definitely recommend use tin in class for this if you can um and i make this every once in a while like i said i need to make more you see it's a little something in the bottom what i do with this is i'll make my spray and then when it gets about halfway down i'll just add more water to it and fill it up um and then it's you know it's just a tad bit less potent than it was but it, you know you still smell it still good for your hair and, and like I said, you take a whiff of it, it still, you know, it still smells, you know, pretty much the same. Then I'll do that, um, you know, a few times. I'll do it maybe once, twice, um, maybe three times if I'm, you know, just don't feel like making it at the time. But, um, you know, so this is just, and sometimes it'll get, you know, very low, get to the bottom. And I'll just put a little bit, you know, if I forgot to make it, just, you know put a little bit give me you know through a couple days before you know I feel like making another batch of it so what's in there like I said I use it I pretty much use the same stuff every time I make it so I'm gonna keep what's in there in there and I'm gonna just uh make a little bit more um so I have to try to I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna get all these open up. I can't really open all these up with one hand. I had a camera in my other hand, and you gotta press and twist with these caps in there hard. So, give me one second. All right, so I got all the caps off. Um, so I probably just will go down the line, adding these in there, starting with tea tree. And this is a smaller bottle. Usually, this will last me. Uh, a couple weeks before I either well yeah it'll, ask, it'll last me a couple weeks before I either you know have to add more water 
or you know like I said I'll usually add more water before I just use the whole thing and make a new one so um it'll, you know last me a couple weeks boom add some water last me a couple weeks um maybe add a little water last me a little while then I'll make another, a new one you know what I mean so I'll start with this tea tree oil and like I said, this is a smaller bottle so you don't need to go crazy with a whole bunch of essential oils um so tea tree it's a little bit in there so I'll give it about uh eh, give it about four or five drops That was five. Tea tree. I'm gonna skip lavender for now. I'll go to eucalyptus. Eucalyptus. It's also one that's really good for your hair. Give it another five drop. Five drops of this. All right. So that was like five and a half. A little bit more came out. Lavender. I'll give it, you know, maybe two drops of this. Right. Um, lemon. I'm running low on lemon. Lemon, I'll try to give it three, four drops. So lemon is running low, so I'm gonna let that all soak to the bottom and run out. Running out of lime too. So yeah, I usually try to get three drops of lemon, three drops of lime, and then for peppermint, like I said, that's the um, the one I pretty much want the most of. So. Three lemon, three lime, peppermint. I'm gonna go like six. And the peppermint is very uh it's a very potent smell, so those in there you yeah, add your water fill it up just about all the way to the top and put your top on you want to give this a good shake and every time you're about to use this, you want to shake this up. Don't ever um, just grab it, pop it off, start spraying it on your head. Every time you grab this, you're about to use it. You know, grab it, and give it a good shake, and then spray your head with it. Uh, that's just so everything will, you know, get mixed up. Because if not, all those oils will float to the top and just be sitting on the top and you'll just be spraying water on your head so when you grab it give it a good shake boom spray it in your head so um like I said, especially if you're someone that hits the gym a lot and you got dreadlocks with a lot of hair um this will help a lot like i said i use this pretty much every day um my morning routine so i'll, I'll just hit this up in the morning um Sometimes I'll, you know, I said I'll do a video on my morning routine, but I use this pretty much every day and um, helps with, you know, one, it's a, you know, I've worn this and have people walk back, man, what is that? You know, that smells good. What, what, what type of uh, body spray you use? I'm like, oh, that's, that's my hairspray. I'm like, what? 
You know what I mean? It's, it's just like a minty, it's a refreshing, minty fresh that, you know, it's, I don't know. I love it. Um, so if you're looking for some hairspray to, like I say, give your hair a good smell, keep out the uh, bad odor, especially if you if you're doing anything where you have dreads and you sweat a lot, especially you don't want to let all that sweat get up in there and get caked up and built up. Use something to combat this, to combat that, and this having, uh, like I said, the tea tree and eucalyptus oil, it'll combat those bad smells and um, bad smells and odors and everything like that from setting in your head. So give it a try. Um, if you like it, keep using it. And if you, you know, you can switch up what you put. You don't have to use the same thing I'm using. This is just what I would recommend, what I found worked for me. But there's plenty of different essential oils out there that you can try. And I've tried out other essential oils and this, you know, ended up being what I like the best. You know, I may, you know, like I said, at first eucalyptus wasn't, it wasn't in this spray. I just so happened to find eucalyptus in the store. Um, you know, I was sitting in the store. I was looking it up on Google, you know, to see what um, what eucalyptus can do. And I was like, oh, okay, that would be good for my spray. So I went ahead and got it and added it to the next batch of spray that I made. So, um, um, good itch spray, good odor spray. You're looking to make it, try this recipe um tailor it make it your own make it something and you know maybe you don't like the minty smell maybe you go with something else that as your you know your your base smell oil so um yeah just a just a video showing y'all how i make my hairspray interested in making it try it out like i said tailor it make it your own peace out